Hello and welcome to the Year 5 Land and Wave information video. My name's Mr Otter and I'm going to be taking you through the information here. So um, here I'm going to go through, I'm going to tell you where we're going to stay, I'm going to say how we're going to be travelling to and from the site, I'll go through how to complete the parental consent forms and how you can let us know of any dietary needs or any um, medical needs. I'll also briefly go through um, what the pupils need to bring and I'll tell you what the children are going to be doing while we're there. So this is where we're going to be staying. We've got a private campsite overlooking Corfe Castle and uh, I hope it's going to be as sunny as we can see in this picture just here. So these are the kind of tents that the children are going to be staying in, although we do have a toilet and a shower block, not like the little portaloo loo that is, uh, is pictured just here. So inside the tents, it's going to um, look a little bit like this, although I suspect that by the time the children have been in there for more than a few minutes, it will look slightly um, messier. So sleeping, they've been arranged into groups of between five and seven. For safety, teachers' tents are going to be interspersed with the children's tents, and there will be members of Land and Wave staff on duty throughout the, um, throughout the night. So how do we get back and forward to Land and Wave? We're going to be going via two coaches. We're going to leave on Wednesday the 22nd of June and children need to come to school at their normal school time and bring their, um, their luggage with them. We're going to be returning to school on Friday the 24th of June and we'll be back in time for normal school pickup, so quarter past three. So on the morning of uh, departure, Please um, can the children arrive in school at the normal time and then they can go to the field with their luggage. Their group leader, who they'll be told closer to the time, will be um, there to meet and greet them. And then there they'll be able to hand in any medication that they need to bring with them. The medication needs to be in a clear plastic bag, as we can see here, and it needs to be named and clearly labelled with the instructions. Can I also ask, please, that you include any of the original packaging that the medicine came in? And uh, the group leader will be responsible for handing out and uh, giving this medication at the required times. Now, the children don't need to be in school uniform on this day. They can be in comfortable clothing, kind of ready for the activities um, when we arrive there. Now, all meals are going to be provided by Land and Wave, except lunch on the first day. And so we ask that you provide a packed lunch for your children on the, um, on the first day, that they'll be able to eat when they, um, when they arrive. Now, the consent forms and the medicals and, diary, um, and dietary information, all this is done online. And uh, you will have been sent a link first of all to this video and also to the um, parent consent form. Now, if you click on that link, oh, and this link, the information needs to be completed by the 22nd of May, just so that we can process any of the dietary requirements so that people um, at Land and Wave can account for that in their, um, in their catering. And it also gives us a chance just to check through if there's any medical information that we want to find out a little bit more about. So if you click on the um, on the link that you have been sent, you'll be taken to a page which looks a bit like this. Um, you'll know that you've got to the right page because it's at the top here. It says St Osmond School 2022. Now, most of the form should be self-explanatory. So things like the student's title, Mr or Miss, the student's first name, student's last name. Please make sure that that's the name that appears um, that we know the children by date of birth and then their gender. Something that's not quite so um, easy, this is where staff need to put in their information too. So please select here where it says student type, please select junior. Now we mentioned about um, any dietary requirements. If your child has any allergies, if, he has, if they have any intolerances or if they have any dietary preferences, this is the place to put them, um, them here. Obviously, these are very important so that we can cater for your children's uh, needs. Now, Land and Wave are used to um, feeding children, and so please don't uh, be worried that your children will go hungry. Medical information can be fitted in and filled in down here. 
Now, what we need to know in um, this part of the form is the name of the medical issue, the name of any medication that the child needs, and also the dosage and when the dosage needs to be administered. So here's a little bit of an example of one that um, has been filled out. So name and information up on the top, and then down here we've got any dietary requirements. So this child has a shellfish allergy, also intolerant to lactose, and they are a vegetarian. So that gives them Land and Wave all the information they need to know to be able to cater for your child. Now, medical information, I've just put a couple of examples down here. So this child needs becotide for asthma, two puffs, um, morning and evening. And then they also need pyroton um, for hay fever. And that's just one tablet in the um, in the morning. So you can kind of see the kind of information that we need so that we can safely administer medication and so that we can make sure that your children are well fed while they are um, while they're with us. So this form, if you scroll down on this form, you'll get to this part and this is where you can put your information. Now we already hold your information um, in school. This is a form which is going to go to Land and Wave, but we will have access to this as well. So first of all, it needs to be um, your name, a contact name, and it can be the same name or it can be somebody else and uh, an emergency contact number. Just this way, this will be the number that we would phone if there was um, if there was an emergency. Um, we will obviously be taking all of the contact information that we have via school and will be within telephone contact of the school at all times um, anyway. The last bit you'll need to do is just to click down um, here to click that you've read and agree to the terms here. This is in effect you signing this uh, form and then all that's left is for you to click this button to grant permission. This um, information then goes off to Land and Wave and both Land and Wave and St Osmonds have access to um, this information. It gives us a chance just to make sure that everybody has um, completed these and uh, that everybody has um, got the correct permissions. So what do the pupils need to bring? I will have sent you a detailed kit list um, in the parent mail. Please um, open that up and uh, look through those because the list I'm showing here doesn't contain everything. This is just the main things that um, I needed to talk about and uh, were most definitely needed to bring. So sleeping bags and pillows and Land and Wave recommend a three season sleeping bag. Um, you'll know your children if they're cold at night, um, then they'll need a thick sleeping bag. If they're warmer at night, then they won't need quite such a uh, big one. They'll obviously need something to sleep in and then some old ish clothes for some activities. We are going to be in the woods. We're going to be out in fields. And so the clothes may get uh, may get dirty. We're going to be walking through the woods. And so some clothes may get a little bit torn and so may not look as uh, as neat and tidy as they did before um, they arrived. So just bear that in mind when you're choosing the clothes to bring. Maybe not their best T-shirts and their best uh, their best trousers. Um, warm clothes for evenings. It can get quite cold at night, even if it's warm in the daytime. And uh, we, you know, with the British weather, it's um, always a good idea and uh, necessary to provide a coat which is uh, reasonably waterproof. Shoes um, need to be something like trainers or something that they are comfortable in. Flip flops and those kind of light shoes are not appropriate. Something like walking boots, they are also um, they are also appropriate. And then children will need to bring some sort of wash um, wash kit and a towel. I mentioned before that there is a um, a shower block um, there, and they'll also need to bring a water bottle and then some sunscreen for the uh, for the summer. This side over here is kind of um, super important. Please make sure that all of the um, clothes and the equipment that your children bring is labelled with um, the name. A Sharpie inside the collar or inside a pocket is uh, absolutely perfect so that if we find a item of clothing, we can quickly give it back to whoever um, whoever it is. Now, with the um, with the kit list, please don't pack too many things. We are going away for three days and two nights and uh, they do need to be able to carry their own bag. 
the um, the teachers going won't be able to carry all of the children's bags from the school to the coach and then the coach into their tents. So they do need to be able to manage their own stuff. And uh, also, the more things that they bring, the more things that they might uh, they might lose. So uh, please just bear that in mind when uh, you're deciding what the children are going to take. The full list of uh, things, though, is uh, is attached with the parent mail that you received with the link for this uh, video. So during our stay, there will be a chance for children to buy some souvenirs, and uh, I would suggest that a maximum of about ten pound would be fine. Children themselves can be responsible for um, keeping this, or they can give it to their group um, leader. Obviously, if the children keep it for themselves, then the group leaders can't be responsible for looking after their money. But uh, if the children want to give it to the group, group leader, then uh, that is OK. Mobile phones or any electronic items, so no music, no handheld games, no other um, electronic items are um, allowed except for a digital camera. If you'd like to bring something like that, then that is absolutely fine. But please, no mobile phones for taking um, photographs. Um, contact with home while we are away. I'd like you please to assume that no news is good news. We will contact you if there are any kind of emergencies and if you have any emergencies that you need to contact your child then please contact the school and then they can get in touch with um, they can get in touch with us. I would just like to say that we do expect um, positive and good behavior from pupils at all times. And in the very rare event that a pupil's behavior falls very below our expectations, uh, we do reserve the right to telephone parents and ask them to come and collect their child if necessary. So activities that we're going to be doing, as you can see, it's going to be long days for them. Breakfast starts at about 7.30 in the morning and then activities generally finish at around 9 p.m. in the evening. Um, in the daytime, children are going to be kind of taking it in turns, will be um, set into groups, not the same groups that they are sleeping in their tents with, but uh, groups um, with a teacher and they're going to be doing things like bushcraft, which is like fire lighting and uh, maybe some simple cooking, maybe some shelter building. They're going to be doing pioneering, which is uh, building some structures. And then um, they're going to be doing an activity called slip and slide, which I'm just going to leave as fast and wet fun. Now, in the evenings, the two evenings that we're there, um, on one of the evenings, they're going to be going on a night hike around the local area and the local woods. And then for the other evening, they're going to be taking part in an activity called stealth, which uh, I think is like a massive um, wide game. Um, around the campsite and in and around the uh, the wooded areas. So staffing coming from St Osmond's, I will be going Mr Otter and uh, the year five tutors will also be going and we'll be taking um, some other staff so that we've got 10 um, teachers or adults in total. We will be with the children at all times during the activities and uh, we're there to look after and care for the pupils. And uh, if we're lucky enough, we might get to take part in some of the activities too. The activities themselves, although we as teachers will be um, there with the children, the activities are run, organised and, uh, yeah, and run by fully qualified Land and Wave um, members of staff. So with the safety of your children in, um, in mind, all of the Land and Wave um, instructors are fully first aid um, trained, as are some of the teachers and the um, Land and Wave staff hold the relevant qualifications for the activities that they're going to be undertaking. And uh, any equipment that is, uh, is handed out is regularly safety checked. Now, we can't guarantee the weather, so any activities that are affected by that, we have some contingency activities um, just in case the weather should uh, take a turn for the worse. If you have any questions, you can, uh, first of all, I would contact the your child's tutor and uh, you can do that via the usual channels of phoning so that to um, arrange an appointment to speak to them or you can send them an email. 
If you'd like to send me an email um, directly, please send it to this email address that you can see here, landandwave at stosmonds.dorset.sch.uk. Now, if you have any kind of specific um, things that you want to talk about um, your child, it's probably best to speak with your tutor. So if there's anything, um, any medical information that you would like to discuss with us, then uh, please feel free to speak with a tutor or to uh, get in touch with me if you would like to um, speak to me about that. This Land and Wave email address, I'll monitor it a couple of times a week. I won't necessarily be able to um, respond to individual emails, but uh, I will be able to respond to kind of um, emails in general. So I would imagine that lots of your questions will be very similar. And so I can then reply to maybe all of you at the um, at the same time to answer a few questions at a time. But if you've got specifics for your children, then uh, please speak to the tutor or um, get in touch with me. Thank you for um, watching this video. Um, if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask us. I am sure there will be um, I will, we, there will be a few. I am really looking forward to taking your children away. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic time for them. They are going to have a brilliant, uh, brilliant experience. Thank you very much.